have been doing this program since um, December 2016. Um, so I've been using uh, CCTV, Channel 17, uh, since 2001. It must have been 2007 that I first started to do something with Nuclear Free Future. I began the, um, the Addiction Recovery Channel, or ARC, in September of 2017. It is a resource that I have gone to in order to understand past decisions that are uh, taking uh, or having impact on today. If you're a migrant farm worker in Vermont, um, it's really hard to, to get your voice heard, uh, um, to leave some of the issues that people are facing and, and working on. Um, and having CCTV and, and the channel is another way of, uh, for migrant farm workers um, to be able to get their voice out there to the community. Our local governing body um, taped and, and also filmed live in order for the public to be able to watch, to follow the discussion, to hear all of the various arguments that are presented, to see the different personalities that work for you and to hold us accountable. I see that as the biggest benefit. It's amazing because um, a lot of people who um, like our people who work with us or work, you know, work with part of our organization um, have said to me that people in the community have came up to them and um, talked about some of our programs and thanked them for um, doing the work that we do. You know? it, it has been wonderful to, uh, to be able to reach a great variety of people on crucial questions. So this is a great way for us to, um, you know, to do a show, record it, uh, upload it to Facebook, YouTube, um, or uh, the Channel 17. Uh, and that's another way for migrant farm workers um, to get involved. If there are people out there who have um, a mission, something that means something to them, something that they feel they have a talent for um, expressing, that the community will benefit from. It could be in any area, and, and, and they don't have the resources to fund that themselves. Well, CCTV is an incredible resource uh, to the public.